What's up, guys? Mike here, head trader at True Trading Group. And I need to drink. I need a drink after today. Today is the worst day that I have had in a couple of years, P&L wise. Uh, I got absolutely run over today shorting Tesla. Um, I'm going to get a lot of people that are going to probably comment on this video like, you're so stupid. You're such a bad trader. How could you short Tesla? And listen, guys, I had all, I had my reasons for shorting Tesla. Um, you know, I, I came into the day thinking that this was going to be a blow off top with how ag aggressive of a move that we had on this gap up. Um, and I really thought that this was going to be a blow off top that um, the stock has gotten so parabolic. Um, it just, it's mind blowing. It, it really is. And I, I went after this thing short today, um, a couple times and I just got ran over, but this, this video is not really for me to, to try to break down my, my trades in Tesla as much as it is to just kind of share with you this day and, and what it means mentally, kind of what I went through today. Um, and let you guys know that even though I've been doing this for 15 years and I consider myself to be an extremely disciplined um, trader. And if you ask me, Mike, you know, what are some of your strengths as a trader? I think my discipline, my patience, my risk management is right up at the top of the list. Um, and even with that being said, um, I still make mental blunders and I still break my rules. And really what happened today was I broke a laundry list of my own rules. Um, a laundry list of my own rules and it has every it has everything to do with mental um there's a lot of what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk you guys through my day and i'm going to talk to you about what i did wrong and what rules i broke today that caused me to have the worst day that i've had in a couple of years um it's also important in the same breath to say that you know, I will have a short memory with this. Tomorrow's a brand new day. Um, tomorrow's TTG Tuesday. Guys, I'm telling you, tomorrow's going to be a day you guys are going to want to come and chat with me because I'm going to be laser focused, determined to put this trade behind me or put this day behind me, get myself back on track. But it's important to understand that I'm not trying to make it all back in one trade. Hell, I'm not even trying to make it all back in one day. My goal tomorrow is just to come in, focus, execute on some good trades, focus on singles and doubles. I'm not looking for home runs. If I get one, great. Um, but I'm, I'm coming into the day tomorrow with a, a, a fresh, clean slate and a clear mind that I'm not going to carry this day over with me as difficult as that is. It's very important. A lot of what I'm going to talk to you about in this video are rules that I broke today, mental lessons that you can take from this. And also really just let you know that, you know, a lot of you have probably dealt with things like this and just letting you know that, you know, even someone that's been doing this 15 years, that does, did it professionally, does it full time now, um, and makes a very nice living doing it. I still make these mistakes sometimes, and you need a constant reminder to um, to keep these rules in check. You know, human nature is to make decisions based on emotion. People always tell you, "Well, what does your heart tell you?" Like when you're when you're trying to make a difficult decision. Well, what's your heart tell you? Everyone says you hear that phrase a lot. What's your gut tell you? That's emotional decision making, and that's um, that's human nature. But when it comes to trading, human emotional decision making gets you into trouble. And it's ironic, actually, really ironic that I had my worst day in a couple of years when just the other week um, I published part two of the trader psychology course. Um, trader psychology course is something that I've been working on for a long time for our members. And um, part one was released uh, in December of last year and I just released part two. If you guys are interested in that, just comment below, let me know. Um, and I'll work on getting you guys a, a discount for the TGD curriculum because the trader psychology course is awesome. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna take my own course. I'm gonna watch my own videos um, because I need a constant reminder. You always need a constant reminder. So all of our, if anyone, if you guys, if, if I'm talking to, if you're a member of TTG already, um, and you've already gone through the psychology courses, make sure that like maybe once a month or, or once every two months, just go back and go through it and watch the videos and read the lessons and go through everything because you need that constant reminder to keep your mind in check. Um, because I made some, some mistakes today and it cost me and it cost me big and, and it sucks. Um, 
And again, you know, I'm not coming into this video trying to, you know, break down technical analysis. You know, I don't, people can, you know, talk whatever kind of crap that you want. Um, but the risk, I knew it was a very high risk short going into the trade, but the reward, the potential reward was massive as well. It was a very, I was either going to lose the most that I've lost in a long time, or I was going to make the most that I've made in a long time. It was kind of that type of a trade with how volatile and how violent the stock was moving around today. But really just guys, I just want to be open and, and honest with you guys and, and to share with you some of my, my experiences as I went through what, what was now my worst day in, in a couple of years. Um, but I'm basically just putting myself in a hole to start the month. I've not had a red month in a very long time. I've not had an actual red month in a couple of years. So I'm certainly not about to start now. I will climb myself out of this hole, just a handful of good trades and I make it all back. Um, and I'm just really, that, that's all I'm really focusing on guys. And I, I will do it. I'm confident that I'll do it. Um, but this is where I'm at. I want to share my experience with you. So let's just kind of go into, into the chart here today. And Tesla had this big gap up today. And right out of the gate, this thing just exploded out of the gate. I mean, this is a huge, huge move. I'm just watching my, I'm just watching this thing explode like this. This thing was running $10 in like a two minute time frame. And I'm just like, this thing is getting like, I mean, completely getting parabolic. It's like the, the daily chart is basically just a straight line higher. And I thought that after that pullback, we had real consistent volume on the pullback. All right. And what I started to see happen was on this bounce off of VWAP, this is the first thing that sucked me into the chart. This bounce off of VWAP was significantly lower volume than the volume that came in on the pullback. And I thought maybe that that was just that, that maybe that was the top. This is a little dead cap bounce. We kind of pull this back in and then break the break back down below VWAP. And then that can maybe be that potential top. And I thought that because of this volume that you see here. So I went ahead and I jumped in and I shorted uh, Tesla right in here and I had to cover out of it. I think it was, oh, I don't have my trade announcements. I don't have my trade announcements. I either covered it right there or I covered it right here. I don't remember. But that was my first losing trade of the day as the stock just continued to push. It just continued to push. Every time that I went after it, it just continued to push. And then we had later on, um, later on here in the day, we had this, exp this explosive move um, during lunchtime, guys. And then again, real, real, real heavy volume on that pullback. And then I thought, okay, maybe now there's your top. Because now at this point, you have to look at the daily chart. I mean, the, the candle that this thing put in on the daily chart is just out of control. So I went ahead in here um, and I got short. And then I added to that position right here. Um, and I was short this thing. And I was looking to roll it over and it was going to pretend it to be a swing trade. But right before the bell, bang, we get this quick little pop. And I covered that position right there again as we trade back up towards the all-time high um, going into the close. The stock has just never, ever, ever pulled back and failed. This thing has just, has just pushed higher all day long. And, and really, a couple of lessons that I broke, I talked about in the beginning of this video, rules that I broke today. And one of them is shorting into front side strength. I always preach short into backside weakness, wait for the stock to crack. And I really didn't have a lot of confirmation that the stock had cracked. Um, I think I was being a little bit too anxious, trying to pick the top a little bit. And, and I wasn't waiting for the stock to crack to show me real, okay, now I can get backside weakness. I was kind of getting in before the crack because, you know, if the stock had done that, then that would have been the crack. And then I can look to get short that backside weakness. But I got in before that. Again, with this, if we got cracked below VWAP, then that would be the crack. And I would get short backside weakness. I didn't do that on, on these setups. I was going after these plays, um, you know, and, and risking. You know, this stock was moving around, you know, 30, 40 bucks like that. So, I mean, this was such a, such a high risk trade with how volatile the stock was. And I just got ran over both times. I just got ran over both times. So that's one, one mistake I made, which was shorting into frontside weakness, not waiting for the crack, not waiting for the backside um, weakness. And, you know, I, I paid the price, um, you know. Also with my stop losses, you know, my stop losses were set in the right places today, but I was too loose with them. I think that's a mistake that I made. You know, if I had a stop loss set, 
you know, I go, I use mental stops, I use physical stops, but I'm usually really disciplined with sticking to those stops once they are reached. Um, I didn't do that today. I gave the stock more room. You know, I, you know, my stop loss is triggered. I'm giving the stock another five, six, seven dollars, which is just way too much past my stop loss. At that point, it's not still my stop loss area. The stock has pushed through it, and I'm still just giving it that room because the stock was so damn volatile. But I shouldn't have. I should have been tighter with my stop losses. Um, I think I gave them a little bit too much room. I was a little bit too loose with them, and I paid for it, and that added to my losses. Um, by giving that extra wiggle room on these, um, on some of these trades, and um, I paid the price for it. I was, I was also being stubborn. You know, I was refusing to admit that I was wrong. I was so in love with, um, and infatuated and obsessed with catching the top of this um, that it blinded my judgment, and I started to trade with my gut rather than trade what the stock chart in front of me is telling me. And I didn't listen to the warning signs. There were warning signs that we were um, <clears throat> that we were not going to roll over, and I wasn't paying attention to them. Like support levels were holding. When I actually go back and I just look, I go, I say, if I was just trading the stock chart in front of me, there were tremendous long setups in Tesla. This could have very easily been my biggest day in several years. Instead, it's my worst because I'm on the wrong side because I was trading with my gut and my emotion, not the chart in front of me. The chart in front of me, if I was trading that. I'm long this. There were beautiful chart setups. You know, let's just go back. I'll go back into the to the morning one. Um, there's your first trade. Okay. There's your previous high. It lines up with the 38.2 Fibonacci level. And there's VWAP. Beautiful support. It held wonderfully. There's a long opportunity. Could have got long there. Instead, I'm getting short. Okay. Then let's go back all the way over to here. Now let's go all the way into the afternoon. Okay, here we go into another beautiful long setup. Here's your previous highs of the day. Okay, there's your previous high of the day. One, two, three. We broke through. We pulled back in. Bang. 38.2 Fibonacci level. Previous high. Lines up beautifully to create an area of support. And right there, that support held. And right there, another nice long opportunity to catch a push up in the afternoon. These were really good long setups. And because I was trading with my gut or my emotions, um, you know, I'm on the wrong side of the trade. And, and that's what I mean by the stock was showing me warning signs like, hey, man, what are you doing? Stop showing this thing. Get the hell out. Cut loose. Um, but I was stubborn. I was stubborn with the trade. I fell in love with the idea. These are all very dangerous things. And these are all mental mistakes that I teach everyone to stay away from. But I broke my own rules today and I paid the price for it. You know, these are all things that are covered that I cover in the trader psychology course, but I did not implement that today. I did not stick to those rules. I, I broke away from my rules. I strayed away from it um, and I paid the price. So I, I have nobody to blame today but myself. Um, just sucks. It's a really crappy way to start the month of February. Um, you know, we finished, I, I closed out January with a big day on Friday. We had, 121% put option play. We got an 83% put option play on Friday. So I closed out January with a big day on Friday. I wiped all of that out today um, with this Tesla short. So I'm just, just frustrated. I'm just angry with myself. I'm disappointed in myself for, for breaking so many rules today that I did. But I felt like it was important that I come on and I share this with you because, you know, it doesn't happen often. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm very, I, I do think I'm very disciplined in everything as a trader, but it does happen. Um, and you have to be unbiased enough to recognize your mistakes, learn from them. And like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to review my trader psychology course. I just, I, you know, making this video, I hope you guys learn from it. You know, don't make the same mistakes that I did. And, and hopefully this shows you the importance of, of needing to, uh, hopefully it shows you the importance of needing to, to stick to these, these lessons and these mental lessons that I talk about. And I cover so much, even on this channel, I talk about these lessons a lot on this channel. Um, and I talk about them in the courses as well, but, uh, they're vital, they're crucial. So I got my ass kicked a bit today, guys. Um, that's for sure, but I will be coming back tomorrow and get myself back on track and, and I will be finishing this month strong. I guarantee it. Um, if you guys want to come and chat and trade with me tomorrow, the chat room is open for free. Just go to truetradinggroup.com. 
upper right hand corner, click on Teach You Tuesday, register, you'll get a link that'll give you access to our chat room for free for the whole day. Chat room opens up at 7.30 a.m. Eastern and closes at around 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys wanna come and chat and trade with live, make sure to register. I hope this video helps. Um, uh, now I'm gonna go back and review my own mental lessons because I feel like it's important after a day like today where I broke so many of those rules that I, uh, I go back and review them for my own, my own mental health. All right, take care guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.